Hello guys, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we are going to see another problem, how to turn off the rightmost setbed. The problem statement is, write a program that unsets the rightmost setbed of an integer. For example, if the input is 12 and its 8-bit binary representation is this binary sequence, then this one represents the rightmost setbed. When we turn off this rightmost setbed, the binary sequence becomes this. And in decimal, it is equal to the number 8, so the output is 8. Let's see another example. If the input is 7 and its 8-bit binary representation is this binary sequence, then this one represents the rightmost setbed. When we turn off this rightmost setbed, the sequence becomes this. And in decimal, it is equivalent to the number 6, so the output is 6. Let's see how to solve this problem. For any unsigned integer n, the operation n and n-1 or turn off the rightmost setbed in n. For any integer n, the binary representation of n minus 1 would have all the bits flipped after the rightmost setbed, including the rightmost setbed in n. So performing bitwise AND operation on n and n minus 1 would give us the required result. Let's see how. For example, let n be 24. And the 8 bit binary representation is this binary sequence. And this one represents the rightmost setbed. Then n minus 1, that is 23, is having this binary representation. As you can see, in n minus 1, all the bits are flipped after the rightmost set bit in n. And when we perform AND operation on n and n minus 1, it will turn off the rightmost set bit in n. Let's see the code for that. We call the function fun from the main function, and in the function itself, it returns the result of AND operation on n and n minus 1. One of the most common application of this technique is to check if a given number is a power of 2 or not. If the number is a power of 2, then in its binary representation, there will be only one set bit. For example, n is equals to 16, n is equals to 64, and n is equals to 8. All these three numbers are power of 2. And in their binary representation, we can see there is just one set bit. And when we turn off the rightmost set bit in these numbers, you would get 0 as a result for all power of 2. Now the time complexity of this approach is O of 1 that is constant because irrespective of n, it is going to take constant time asymptotically. Thank you for watching. Please leave us your likes and comments.